Hey there, peeps! This is Jeff, aka Nomad Fury, and for today's discussion, we will be discussing about the benefits and drawbacks of blockchain based gaming. So, if you are a fan of both blockchain and playing games, well, I think you should watch this video until the end. So, let's get started, shall we? So, given that its conception, Blockchain has mostly been made of use as a system to facilitate cryptocurrency purchases. So, only recently that we've started seeing alternative uses of blockchain-based innovation. So, its intrinsic features like distributed information, cryptographic security, immutability, and infinitely increasing capability, which makes it a natural fit for the ever-evolving digital gaming landscape. So, let's talk about the benefits of blockchain-based gaming. While the blockchain has not without its drawbacks, it allows us to take a look at a few of the pros of constructing a game around the modern technology which is blockchain based. So you can cheat with blockchain, third parties cryptographically vet in all video game audits no matter the video's game's policies. Okay, so it doesn't have a single point of failure and for that reason, they're not subjected to distributed denial of service. Due to the fact that blockchain is peer-to-peer, -peer, designers do not require to stress over costly data transfer or web server costs. Online video games will certainly have boundless long life since they won't be reliant on their programmers to maintain a committed server. And of course the studios can offset growth expenses by marketing and in-game money constructing a decentralized currency directly into the game that can likewise be traded outside of the video game with no main authority like in a peer-to-peer -peer network game there would be no argument over who fired initially there won't be a host taking advantage of reduced latency in a peer-to-peer -peer match the game finishes if the host disconnects this won't be the case on the blockchain due to the fact that there is no host but what about the downside of blockchain based gaming the greatest trouble with gaming on the blockchain is no other than the speed blockchain is simply also sluggish so in a real-time multiplayer game a simple activity can activate a cascade of state modifications this would certainly take a huge toll on the frame rate as each and every single state adjustment is verified on the blockchain. Of course, every blockchain-based multiplayer game would also need to have its own money to incentivize the cryptography required to facilitate state changes. And what about the present state of blockchain-based games? So, we've currently seen a few instances of blockchain-based video games like CryptoKitties and online freelance accumulating and also a developing game and also a Thelemon which is extremely obviously motivated by the Pokemon Go game. While these video games are reasonably basic, okay, World Master 2, where it is a blockchain-based greatly multiplayer online role-playing game, currently in beta for mobile, and blockchain can also work well in the turn-based strategy video games where latency and frame rate are not a factor. In asynchronous multiplayer video games like World with Friends, art or even days can pass in between turns, among the significant problems with cryptocurrency is that there just aren't a deal of usages for it. Cryptocurrency is a natural fit for video games with microtransactions due to the fact that it provides players the alternative to trade their hard-earned in-game currency beyond the video game. And for my final thoughts of this one, while there are a handful of unique advantages to blockchain-based multiplayer games, they are really particular as well as the only appropriate in specific types of video games. The reality that blockchain is essentially pointless in real-time video games is a rather considerable downside. That being stated, video games developed with blockchain in mind can have actually intriguing and also distinct hooks. With blockchain still in its family member infancy, there is a great deal of space for development in the computer game market. So at least I've shared to you guys about the benefits and drawbacks of blockchain-based gaming and I really, really, really hope that me, myself, as a hardcore player, of course, I would like to look forward to see 
what future lies ahead for blockchain based games and I am so excited for this alright so guys thank you so much for tuning in to this video so feel free to share this to your crypto and gaming friends out there if you think that this information is so helpful regarding blockchain based games and guys don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel so that you can stay updated on what is going on with the cryptoverse okay so once again my name is jeff aka nomad fury and see you guys on my next video